What is up, first fans? Welcome back to another edition of Cap or No Cap. That is where I ask Devin a question, and he has to tell us if it's a cap or no cap. Ooh. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Much crazier things have happened, but, you know, we're not going to get into those details. <laughs> These details, though, involve Cortland Sutton, and the question is, is Cortland Sutton... A buy low candidate. Ooh. Right after this. All right, welcome back. And Devin, is Cortland Sutton a buy low candidate? Uh, well, right now, he is averaging uh, nine fantasy points per game. Not very good at all. Right. Uh, you also have to look at, is that going to get better when Judy comes back? Mm -hmm. That's still, what, four or five weeks at the minimum away? Yeah, but, I mean, it's still worth putting into consideration because that's over half the season you yeah, gotta, yeah. You got to have him for. And I also wanted to put into consideration that I thought very bad of him last year. <laughs> yeah. And one of the main reasons is because of his catching. Yeah, he makes flashy moves every once in a while, but the problem I had is his catch percentage. Hmm. It's what he didn't catch that well, I had the problem with. Probably got to put in consideration some of the quarterbacks throwing him the ball. He's had pretty terrible quarterbacks. Hey, that, that's your quarterback, Drew Locke. You're talking about... He didn't play well, I have to admit. I mean, oh, okay. As a rookie-ish, yeah. you know, I mean, he just didn't do well. Okay, okay. Um... But yeah, I mean that that's definitely a problem that I had. And I mean Joe Flacco's pretty accurate, okay? Yeah. He's not he's not And he good. actually did pretty decent with Joe Flacco. Surprisingly. The catch percentage no he didn't. Yeah. 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 It was uh, I think it was around fifty nine percent. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, and that's the main problem I had with him is that he he is good. Uh, he makes flashy moves, he is a big guy, but it's the catching that I have a problem with that I had a problem with last year. Um, so I had him ranked very low. Mm-hmm. And I don't really think that's going to get any better okay. because you look at the schedule coming up and it's not very good. Uh, they had a very soft matchup the first three games. And then after that, I mean, it's just like a crazy hard schedule coming up. They go against Baltimore. They go against uh, Pittsburgh, Las Vegas, Cleveland, uh, Washington football team. Yeah. And it just gets even harder from that. Like it's, it's crazy. So if he hasn't been doing good now, he's not going to get any better. Hmm. Um, what about the injury, though? You don't think the injury has anything to do with it? That's also something. He's come back from pretty serious. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he could re injure it. You don't even mm. know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's just too many things to put into consideration here. I mean, there, there's more, way more negative than there is positive, in my opinion. Uh, so, to answer your question, Cap, I don't think he's a buy low candidate. Wow. I think he's a sell high candidate. Really? As low as he's ranked right now. Uh, he still has a brand name. Uh, people might view him as still the number one wide receiver on the team. Well, and they are down wide receivers. They lost KJ Hamler, so they're down to basically Tim Patrick and Cortland Sutton. And no fan. Yes, and no yeah. fan. Yeah, he does get targets, mm -hmm. so you, you got to put him. Yeah. But yeah, and they also have two running backs now that they're starting to use more and more. So that decreases the passing game. Okay. I'm all out. Wow. On Cortland Sutton. As high as I had him ranked before the season, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I, I may have to differ with his opinion, but that's okay. <laughs> this is his show and his cap. Okay. And he's sticking to it. So, what do you guys think? Do you think Cortland Sutton is done for this year? Or do you think he's going to turn it around and, and uh, produce some good games for you? I mean, that second game, he was a monster. The first game, eh. Last game, bleh. So, two out of three, that's not great. He could be just really inconsistent. So we could have a big week this week yeah. and then a bad week the next week. But then again, is that really someone you want to have? Yeah. I mean, maybe as a flex. Let us know what you think yeah, in the comments. That's true. And you can put that towards getting this Travis Kelsey collector card free of charge. We will ship it right out to you. Boom. There were a thousand made and you can have one of them. So just like, comment, and subscribe. And he's yours. All right. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys. 
Hope you had great uh, fantasy football weeks this week and hope you win next week. And you want to close us out, Devin? Always remember to finish finish first. Thank you for listening to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Jackson throws to Cleet Crabtree, has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at FantasyFootballFirst.com.